Welcome everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to do a small update to Lightroom Classic, a dot update, meaning from 10.0 to 10.1, for example, or 10.3 to 10.4. This video doesn't cover how to do the larger upgrades from 9 point something to 10 point something, or 6 point something to 10 point something. For that, watch my other video on how to upgrade to Lightroom Classic 10 from any prior version. Now, before we dive into how to update, we should make sure that Lightroom Classic hasn't already done the update for you. You'll see later in this video that in the Creative Cloud app, you can turn on Auto Update to have it do your updates automatically when they're released. So if you've just found out about an available update because you've read my blog or you've gotten my newsletter, then I would first come into Lightroom Classic and see if you already have that update. Go to Help System Info. I'm making this video the night before 10.1 is coming out. So if you come in and you find that you already have 10.1, then Auto Update is turned on and you don't need to do the update. You can skip ahead in this video to where I talk about that auto update setting and I give you my thoughts on whether you should use it or not. Now for the rest of you that do want to do an update, before we do, it's a good idea to back up your Lightroom catalog first. It's just a good general practice before doing an update. If you know when you close Lightroom Classic that you will get the catalog backup prompt, then go ahead and close. If you're not sure, or if you know you won't, then we'll go into Catalog Settings. On a PC, go to Edit. On a Mac, Lightroom Classic, and then Catalog Settings. On the General tab, we've got the setting for how often we're prompted to back up the Lightroom Catalog. Mine is set to every time Lightroom exits, so I could just close Lightroom at this point. But if you've got yours set to once a day, once a week, once a month or never, although I don't recommend these first two. And you want to keep whatever your setting is, generally speaking, but you just want to force the backup prompt to come up this once. Then choose when Lightroom Next exits. After we exit this time, the setting will just revert back to whatever you had. Now watch my video on setting up and managing catalog backups for all of the details on this topic. We'll go ahead and close Catalog Settings, and then close Lightroom Classic. Yes, I want to quit. And then I have the Backup Prompt. I would click on Backup. For the sake of the video, I'll just go ahead and skip. Now, at this point, we're going to use the Adobe Creative Cloud application to update Lightroom Classic. You can either open the Creative Cloud application directly, or you can go back into Lightroom Classic and launch it from there. So I'll show you how that's done. You'll just go up to Help, Updates. That launches the Creative Cloud application and it selects the Updates page here. So we see all apps for which there's an update. Now I have the All Apps plan, so I have probably many more apps than most of you do. Now, in fact, unfortunately, there is not a Lightroom Classic update available right now because 10.1 won't be out for a few more hours. But normally speaking, once the update's been announced, you'll see it here on the updates page. If it's been announced and you don't see it here, you can click on the three dots here and choose check for updates. And it will just refresh this, adding any new updates. If you still don't see it, you could try clicking on your profile picture and signing out and signing back in again. Finally, if you don't see it, you could try going to the Photo tab to Lightroom Classic. Remember, LRC, not LR. LR is the cloud-based Lightroom. So Lightroom Classic, and if there's an update available, you'll see an Update button. Now, if it's the day of the release and you still don't see it, then you probably just need to wait. It takes a while for these updates to be sent out all across the world from Adobe servers. If it's not the day of an update and you don't see it, then I would suggest calling Adobe Customer Support 
go through adobe.com through their support page. You should also contact them if you have any update issues. As a subscriber, you're entitled to phone and chat support, and they can log into your computer if you give them permission so that they can troubleshoot for you. All right, let's go back to the updates page here. Assuming there was a Lightroom Classic update, I would just click on the update button. I'll go ahead and click on it for another program. Now we won't see this window, so I'll just continue. You'll see waiting, and then if the application or any applications that the update touches are open, it will tell you to close them. So go close Lightroom Classic or whatever app that it tells you to close if you get conflict updating Lightroom Classic. I'll close Photoshop since that's what it's protesting about, and then I'll click on Continue. So I'll see Waiting, and then it will say Updating, and then when it's done updating, there would be an Open button. Of course, we're doing Lightroom Classic and not After Effects. Now, once it's done and there's an Open button, you can open it from the Creative Cloud application, or you can just go back to your dock icon or your desktop shortcut, however you usually open the program. That's all there is to a dot update, so it's very straightforward. Let me show you a couple more things here in the Creative Cloud app, though, before I wrap this up. Let's say that you update to 10.1 from 10.0, and you encounter a bug in 10.1 that you just can't live with, so you want to revert back to 10.0. To do that, go to the Photo category here and find Lightroom Classic. Click on the photo here so that you get to the Lightroom Classic page. Then click on the three dots here and choose Other Versions. So right now I've got 10.0 installed, so I could uninstall it and install 9.4. Once I have 10.1 installed, then I would have the option to uninstall that and install 10.0 to revert back. All right. The last thing I want to mention is auto update. Let's go into Creative Cloud Preferences. I believe on a PC it will be under Edit, on a Mac it's under Creative Cloud, and then Preferences. And then click on the Apps tab. There's an auto update setting here where if you turn it on, the Creative Cloud app will automatically update Lightroom Classic, Photoshop, any other apps that you're using as soon as an update is available. So you could turn this on. However, I don't think that it's a great idea because occasionally a version of Lightroom Classic comes out with significant bugs. And I actually recommend that those of you that can wait a week or so before updating, wait and let other people try out the new release to make sure that there aren't significant bugs. If you've chosen to auto-update, you're going to get that new possibly buggy version without having had a choice. On the other hand, if you just really need the Creative Cloud app to manage this for you because otherwise you're just never going to get around to updating and you really want to stay up to date, you can turn this on. Just keep in mind that if a buggy version comes out that negatively affects you, that you may need to revert back to the old version once you discover that. All right, I'll click on Done. Finally, I want to show you a message that may come up when you close the Creative Cloud application. So I'll go ahead and quit it. It says your active installs, updates, and uploads will not be completed. So hide Creative Cloud rather than quitting it. What does that mean? Well, that means if you're in the process of doing a Lightroom Classic or a Photoshop update, for example, and you quit, it's not going to finish that update. But if you know the updates have finished, you can go ahead and quit. Now, I think Adobe would like Creative Cloud to keep running so that as updates come out, it can notify you of those updates. But if you don't care about that and you'd rather quit, as I do, you can go ahead and click on Quit. If in doubt, click on Hide. Finally, I think it's a good idea to go back into Lightroom Classic and just be absolutely sure that you're using the version that you think you are. 
You should be if you went through the process that we just went through. But I like to be a little paranoid. So you would just go to Help, System Info, and it will show you right here what version you're using. I'll close this. So that's it for how to do a dot update for Lightroom Classic. Again, if you experience any installation issues, remember that you can contact Adobe Customer Support for that. This concludes the lesson on updating.